What's up guys? Today's project, we're gonna show you how you can turn red oak into white oak using store-bought bleach. So stay tuned, we'll show you exactly how we did it. So, can you make red oak look like white oak? Well, yeah, you can, and it's surprisingly effective and pretty straightforward as well. Now, we used the product from Circa. It's a two-component oxygen bleach that you can pick up at almost any hardware store or big box store. Step one is simply to prepare the surface. So slap some 180 grit sandpaper on and give the stairs a nice scuff sand first. Next, you're going to mix equal parts of both components. Now, you can do this at the same time or you can do it sequentially. We chose to do it at the same time. Mix it up and you'll see some bubbles when the two products are activated. Next, using a synthetic brush, you're going to apply this mixture to any of the wood that you want to be bleached. Now, the important thing here is to make sure that you're not leaving any puddles. Just apply a nice even coat on any surface area that you want to be bleached. After applying a nice even coat, we're going to allow the wood to dry for three hours. Now after that point, you can assess as to whether or not you're happy with the look. If you want it to be lighter, you can apply a second coat using the same process. But if we're happy with the desired amount of lightning that we've achieved with one coat, then it's time to neutralize the bleach. And we're going to do that using one part of regular household vinegar with two parts of warm water. After mixing the solution together thoroughly, we're going to apply it to the stairs in the same manner that we did the bleach using a synthetic brush. We're going to put a nice even coat, trying to avoid any puddling as we go. Every area that got bleached should also be neutralized using this vinegar solution. After the stairs are completely covered, we're going to allow 24 hours for the wood to dry fully. At this point, you'll notice that the wood feels rough and the grain is probably raised. So before we do anything else, we're going to sand down each step according to the label on whatever top coat product you decide to use. After testing a number of different top coats, we elected to go with Varathane in a satin finish. Following the labels on the can, we applied three coats of this product, sanding gently in between each application. After the final coat of the polyurethane finally dries, it's time to paint the stringers. And because it's wood, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to prime them with a shellac-based primer to ensure that none of the tannins from the wood bleed through the paint. Once our primer has had a chance to dry, we're going to go back a few more times with the top coat and before you know it, you are done. What once was a red oak staircase, well now it's white oak, just like that. 